Hello, it's me, Crazy Rebecca, Dances with Pipples. Welcome to Crazy Quilt Friday. We're going to make something, we're going to make something to embellish our crazy quilts with. Okay, I'm going to bring it up so you can see. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's a crocheted flower, but what's it crocheted from? Can you tell? It is... DMC Jewel Effect. It's so pretty, but I could never get it to work. I don't know if you use it in cross stitch and it works better or what, but I used one, th one strand with another strand of regular. It didn't work. You try to use this by itself. It doesn't work for me. I don't know. I've had it for probably... I'm going to say at least 15 years, 10 years, 15 years, 10 years, 8 years, I don't know, <laughs> a, long a long time taking up room, so this is the pink, I pulled it all the way out. It's hateful. It's really hateful. Probably a bunch of you are going to say, I use that all the time and it's fine. Well, I'm cursed. So, slip knot, chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight using a size double zero steel crochet hook. By the way, I'm waiting on a phone call, so if that happens, we're going to break. Okay, we'll just break, okay? Chain two. I think I made 12 half double crochet. One, two, not <laughs> the phone call I was waiting on. Those are text messages. Okay. <laughs> That's what, and that, my friends, is why I keep my phone on silent. Join, slip in the first, bite, chain one, single crochet. Okay, let me look at this one. This one's only like, yeah, this was done to this. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one, single crochet in the next. This stuff is fussy. You're just going to have to practice with it. That's what I had to do. See, it just fussed on me right there. I will actually write the pattern in the in the description box. Okay? Okay. Single crochet. One, two, three, four, 
five. These little flowers are handy. They look great in just crochet cotton too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, joining in the first single crochet. Now, let's change colors. Uh, chain, snip with better scissors than that. Pull tight. So this is where you're at. You can stop there. Or let's use this because it's like highly contrasted. You gotta be careful when you're undoing it. Or it will tangle. Ask me how I know. Go back in where you just were. I guess you can go ahead and make a slip knot in this. You're gonna have little flyaways everywhere from the ends, but don't worry about them right now. Oh, do as I say, not as I do. What did I do? What did I do? Okay. First, I shall make the slip knot. Not to be confused with five finger death punch. Okay. See where we are. <laughs> you're going to make a single crochet in there. Then you're going to make half double crochet. Half single, no, half double. Same as you did in this, yeah. Then you're going to make a two, no, one double crochet, one triple crochet. another double crochet, half double crochet, and a single crochet. It makes the petal. Go all the way around. Tie it off. These are without the petals. That one and this one. This one I ran out, so I just went ahead and finished with purple. It doesn't matter. Do I have one more? Yes, I do. This one I ran out. Oh, I did single crochets around and I still ran out, so I just left it. Because you can put them, you know, in the corner or whatever. Just sew them down. I just use regular thread to sew them down. So I can probably get three more. I'll get, no, probably four more. This one, I got pink left, I got purple. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and make these up, and I'll meet you back here when I'm done. 
So this is what I come up with. I had a little bit left over. I just threw it in the scrap pile. But I thought I would go ahead and let's sew this one on. I have just a plain cotton thread and a needle. And you just take a little nip. You make me <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just got lost. Got, I got lost in the sewing. I am so sorry. So, so very sorry. your uncle. We're going to trim that those flyaway hairs off. Not those scissors. Tell you what, those are strictly paper scissors. Okay. There you have it. It's shiny. It's shiny. It's metallic. It's no longer hanging around, taking up room. Now it can be. fancy flowers on my crazy quilt. So let's write this down. And I have to tell you something. Um, I already filmed for Monday, so that's why it may seem like it's out of order. But trust me, I'm a professional. Number 19 is flowers from metallic embroidery floss. So we're one-fifth of the way there, almost. So let me know if you make anything similar. Let me know the proper way to use this because why was I not able to use it? All you experienced embroiderers, because I do have just a little bit left that I could try to use it in the proper way. But I also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cool flowers. I'll see you Monday.